Hi, everybody. Welcome to Beginner One. In these videos, I hope to teach you some basic English. So these videos are for low level beginners. Okay. Now, when you watch these videos, I want you to pay attention. Okay. Watch all the videos in the series. Okay. Please listen carefully. And if there are any words or expressions that you don't know, please check your dictionary. Another thing you should do is repeat after me. Repeating is a really good practice. Okay. So I know that some of these videos are hard, but please don't give up. If you try your best and watch all of these videos, I know that your English will get better. Okay. Well, let's get started. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this video. Now, in this video, I want to talk about the difference between consonants and vowels. Now, in the English alphabet, there are 26 letters. And in the alphabet, there are five main vowels and one special vowel. And the rest are consonants. So let's look at the board. Here's the alphabet. The first letter, A, is a vowel. The next letter, B, is a consonant. C is a consonant. D, consonant. E is a vowel. Then, F is a consonant. G, consonant. H, consonant. I is another vowel. J is a consonant. K, consonant. L, M, N are consonants. O is another vowel. P, Q, R, S, and T, these are all consonants. U is the last main vowel. V, consonant, W, consonant, and X, consonant. Y is the special vowel, and we'll talk about that more later on. And Z is the last letter, and it is a consonant. Okay, so there are 26 letters in the alphabet. There are five main vowels, one special vowel, and the rest are consonants. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Well, let's look at some words. Now, all English words have vowels, maybe one or many vowels. So let's look at these words. The first word is cat. Okay, we have C is a consonant, A, a vowel, T, consonant. Egg, E is a vowel, and G, G, G is a consonant. Hit, H is a consonant, I, a vowel, and T, a consonant. Top, T is a consonant, O is a vowel, and P is a consonant. The last word is cut, C is a consonant, U, a vowel, and T, a consonant. So we have the main vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Now, I said Y is a special vowel. That's because sometimes it's a vowel and sometimes it's a consonant. So let's look. In the word Y, the letter Y sounds like I. Y. So it is a vowel. Bicycle. The letter Y sounds like I. Bicycle. I is the letter I, right? It sounds like the letter I. So in this case, Y is also a vowel. Pretty. Pretty. Y sounds like E. Okay? Pretty. So it's a vowel. Now, 
In the last two words, you and yes, the letter Y is a consonant. Usually, if Y comes at the beginning of a word, or if it makes a Y sound, for example, you, yes, it is a consonant. Okay, so again, five main vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and Y, the special vowel. Now, to help us remember vowels, we can say A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Okay, repeat again after me. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. One more time faster. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Okay, and that's the end of this video. Thank you. Hi everybody and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about using a or an. Okay, we use a or an in front of nouns. Well, what is a noun? A noun is a person, place, thing, or animal. Okay, so let's look at the board. The first noun we have is banana. Banana starts with the consonant B. So we put a banana. A banana. Look at the next word, apple. In this case, the first letter is A. A is a vowel. Remember, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So we have to put an. An apple. Cat. Hmm. The first letter, C, is a consonant. So should we put a or an? Remember, if it's a consonant, we have to put a. A cat. The next word, boy. Again, the, uh, the word starts with a consonant, B. So we have to say a boy. The next word, egg, has the letter E in front. E is a vowel. So what do we put? We put an. If we read it, it sounds like an egg. An egg. Okay, and the last word is ant. Ant starts with the vowel A. So again, we must put an ant. An ant. Now, let's go through these words together. A banana. A banana. An apple. An apple. Keep in mind that when you have an in front, it has to sound almost like one word. An apple, an apple. A cat, a cat. A boy, a boy. An egg, an egg, an egg. Again, it sounds like one word. An egg. An ant, an ant, an ant. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's do some extra practice. Uh, I have some nouns on the board. Remember, a noun is a person, place, thing, or animal. So let's go through them one by one. A book, book is a thing. It's a thing that we read. Park is a place. It's a place we go. Umbrella is a thing, right? Umbrella is a thing that we use when it's raining. Elephant, elephant is an animal. Doctor. Doctor is a person. And orange. Orange is a thing that we eat. Okay, now I'm going to say a or an in front of the nouns. I want you to listen and see if you can hear the difference. Okay, we have book. In that case, we say a book. A book. We have to say a book. Okay, the next one is Park. We say a park. A park. Remember, we put a in front of words that begin with consonants. B and P are consonants. That's why we say 
a book, a park. Okay. How about the next word? An umbrella, an umbrella. Could you hear the difference? An umbrella. We say an because umbrella starts with a vowel u. An umbrella. Okay. Elephant. What should we say? An elephant. An elephant. Again, elephant starts with a vowel. A doctor. A doctor. A doctor. And the last word, an orange. An orange. Again, we have to say an orange because O is a vowel. So let's go through each word one more time. A book. A book. Okay. A park. A park. An umbrella. An umbrella. Notice it sounds like one word. An umbrella. An elephant. An elephant. A doctor. A doctor. And the last one, an orange. An orange. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I hope you can remember when to use a and an. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this video. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about singular and plural nouns. Okay, singular means one, and plural means more than one or many. Okay, so let's look at the board. This part is showing singular nouns. Okay, remember, singular means one. Okay, so when the noun is singular, we put a or an. So let's look. A ring. That means one ring. A ring. A dog. Again, one dog. A dog. A teacher. One teacher. A teacher. An apple. An apple. One apple. An egg. An egg. One egg. So again, one. Noun is singular. Okay. Now over here we have plural nouns. Plural means more than one, two, three, four, and so on. So many. Okay. So when we have a plural noun, we have to. Don't forget, we have to put s or es. Again, if there's more than one, if the noun is plural, you have to put s or es. Now the nouns here, you just have to add an s, okay? And we're gonna go through them right now. Two rings, okay? We had one ring, a ring. Now we have two rings with an s, okay? We had a dog. The plural is three dogs. Again, s three dogs. A teacher, one teacher. Four teachers, four teachers. Don't forget the S, okay? You must not forget that. An apple, that's one apple. Then we have plural, five apples, five apples. Okay, and the last one, an egg, one egg, six eggs. Don't forget S, six eggs, okay? I really need you to remember that. Two rings, three dogs, four teachers, five apples, and six eggs. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Now we have some more nouns. These nouns are a little bit different. Uh, when they're singular, it's the same. You put a or an in front. But when you want to make them plural, you have to add es. Remember, I said you can add s or es to make a noun plural, more than one. So again, these nouns, you have to add es. So let's go through them one more time. Okay, so we have a bus. A bus. Again, that means one bus. A box. 
a box, a watch, a watch. Okay, one, a kiss, a kiss, and an axe, an axe. One, an axe. Okay, now we're going to move on to the plural. Remember again to make them plural or more than one. Here we add es. Okay, a bus. One, two buses, two buses, a box, three boxes, three boxes, a watch, four watches. Yes, right? Four watches, a kiss. One, five kisses, five kisses. Add the es, and the last one, an axe. An axe. Okay, we have six axes. Six axes. So don't forget, we have to put es to make these nouns plural. Okay, let's move on to the next part. So, how do we know if we should put s or es to make the noun plural? Well, for most nouns, you just have to put s. Okay, for most of them, but for some. You have to put es, and how do we know? Well, let's look at the board. We have some nouns. The first one is church. Okay, church ends in ch. So if the noun ends in ch, you have to put es. Okay, so it becomes churches. So again, if the noun ends in ch, add. Es at the end to make it plural. The same goes for the next word, brush. You'll notice brush ends in sh. Okay, so if it ends in sh, same thing. We add es at the end to make it plural. Okay, the next word is fox. We have the letter x at the end. Okay, all nouns that end in X. We have to put es to make it plural. Okay, so ch, sh, x. If the noun ends with these, put es. And the last one is dress. Okay, we have ss at the end. Same thing. Put es at the end to make it plural. Okay, dresses. Again, if it ends in ss, put es. Okay. So please don't forget ch, sh, x, and ss. We must put es at the end. Most of the other nouns we just add s. Okay. Now we have some special nouns on this side: potato, tomato, volcano. Now most nouns that end in o, like photo, all we have to do is add an s to make it plural. Photos. Okay. But these are special because we actually have to put es at the end to make them plural. Okay, so we have potatoes, tomatoes, volcanoes. Again, these are a little bit special. For most nouns that end in o, we just add s. Okay, and、uh, let's go to the final part. Okay, let's do some extra practice. On the board, I have some nouns. Some are singular and some are plural. We have to decide together if we should put s or es or make them singular. Okay, so you have to listen carefully and remember what we learned in this video. Okay, two books. Right, this is plural. There are two. Two books. We have to put. An S, two books. Okay. The next one, three class. Hmm. Class ends with the S. So what do we put? Three classes. Three classes. Okay. So again, the plural is three classes. Okay. A lion. A lion. Do we have to put anything? No. No s or es because this is singular. There's just one lion, a lion. Six hats, six hats. We have to put an s. 
six hats. Okay, the next noun is seven match. What do we put? Well, we have a ch, so we have to put matches. Seven matches. Seven matches. Okay, and the last one is one bat. One bat. We do not put an s or es because again, it's just one. We don't have to put anything after bat. Okay, this is singular. Okay, so in this video, we learn how to make a noun singular. Okay, and how to make a noun plural. Remember, singular means one. Plural means more than one. And remember, don't forget, we have to put s or es. Okay, and thanks for joining. That's the end of this video. Bye. Hi everybody, and welcome to this video. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about subjective pronouns. So let's take a look at the board. Here they are, the subjective pronouns. Please take a careful look. They're very important in English. Okay, so the first subjective pronoun is I. I means me. I'm Esther. I. He. Now, he is only used for boys or men. Okay, he. So another boy or man is he. She is used for girls or women. Okay, she. It. It is used for a place like a school, an animal like a dog, or a thing like a chair. Okay, it. The next one is you. You means you. Okay, you. We. We means other people and me. For example, I sing, you sing, then we sing. Okay, we. And the last one is they. They means many people, places, animals, or things. Okay, so more than one. If there's more than one, we use the subjective pronoun they. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so let's practice together with subjective pronouns. The first sentence on the board says, Jenny sings. Now, Jenny is one girl. So we can say, she sings. Jack sings. Jack is one boy. So we have to say, he sings. The last sentence says, Jenny and Jack sing. Now, Jenny and Jack are two people, so we have to say they sing. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's do some more practice. The first sentence on the board says, The cat runs. The cat is an animal, so we have to say it runs. The next sentence says, the dog and cat run. Now, the dog and cat, they are two animals. So anytime you have two or more things, we say they run. They. Okay. Now for the last sentence, I'm going to talk about my cat, Ongi. Okay. Ongi is a cat. He's an animal, but he has a name. He's a boy cat. Okay. And I love him and he's like family. So, only runs, I can say he runs. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Here are some more examples, but this time you have to figure out the subjective pronoun together with me. Okay, so my students study. What should we use? Well, my students, there's an S, right? They're people. And there's more than one, many people. So we have to use the subjective pronoun they. They study. 
The next example: John is handsome. Okay, John. That's a person. There's only one, right? And it's a boy, John. So, what should we use? We have to use the subjective pronoun he. One boy. We say he. He is handsome. Okay. The last one. Pizza is delicious. Pizza is a thing. And there's only one, right? There's no s. One pizza. We say it. It is delicious. Okay. Let's move on to some more examples. The first example says Seoul is a city. Now, Seoul is a place. Okay. So we have to use the subjective pronoun it. It is a city. The next example says, "My parents love Ongi." Now, Ongi is my cat. My parents love Ongi. Well, my parents—they are two people: my mom and my dad. So, what do I use? I have to say, "They." They love Ongi. The last example is very similar to the second one. My parents and I love Ongi. Okay. The difference is it says and I. So this is my parents with me. So I have to say we. We love Ongi. Okay. All of us. Okay. So in this video, we learned about subjective pronouns. I hope you guys have a good understanding of when. And how to use them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this video. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about subjective pronouns, be verbs, and also contractions. So let's take a look at the board. Okay. First, we have the subjective pronouns, and we have the be verbs: am, is, and are. Okay, so let's look at the first one: I am. I am Esther. The contraction for I am is I'm. I'm. Now, a contraction. Is a more common way of saying subjective pronouns and their be verb. It's faster and quicker and shorter. Okay, it's more common. I want you to use contractions. Okay, so I am becomes I'm. He is. He's. She is. She's. It. Is it's okay? Let's move on to the bottom. You are becomes your, your. We are, we're, we're, and they are. The contraction is there, there. Okay, let's move on to the next part. We're going to take a look at some sentences using the be verbs. Now, notice on the board I've only used contractions. Okay. For example, instead of I am, I'm going to say I'm. So the first sentence, I'm a student. Okay. This means one. So we have to say a student. A. Now, many people make the mistake of saying I'm student. But that's wrong. Okay, you have to put a. Now, before I read it, you have to listen carefully. I'm a sounds like one word. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a student. Okay, please repeat after me. I'm a student. I'm a student. Okay, the next one again sounds like one word. He's a. He's a. Okay, so he's a student. Please repeat. He's a student. He's a student. Same thing. 
She's a student. Please repeat. She's a student. She's a student. Okay. The next sentence has it. Now remember, it is only used for a place, a thing, or an animal. So we can't have those things be a student. So we have to say it's a dog. Okay. Please repeat. It's a dog. It's a dog. Okay. The next one. You're a student. Please repeat. You're a student. You're a student. Okay. Now let's look at we're. We're students. Okay. We took out the a and we put a s because we're means many people, not one student, but many students. So we have to say we're students. Please repeat. We're students. We're students. The same thing goes for they. Again, they means many people or many things. Here we put s and we took out the a. So they're students. Please repeat. They're students. They're students. Okay. We're going to look at some more examples. Please listen and repeat carefully. Let's start with the first one. I'm. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. He's. He's a man. He's a man. He's a boy. He's a boy. She's. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's a girl. She's a girl. It's. It's a chair. It's a chair. It's a cat. It's a cat. You're. You're a singer. You're a singer. You're a friend. You're a friend. We're. We're sisters. We're sisters. We're brothers. We're brothers. They're. They're people. They're people. They're cars. Their cars. Well, I hope that this video helped you understand how to use subjective pronouns, their be verbs, and also contractions. Now, before we go, I wanted to share a little bit about myself using the lesson. So, first, remember, I'm a, I'm a girl. Also, I'm a teacher. I'm an American. Now, the word American starts with the vowel a, so we have to say an. I'm an American. And I'm an animal lover. Again, same thing. Animal starts with the vowel a, so we have to put an. I'm an animal lover, and that means someone who loves animals. I love dogs and cats and other animals, so. I'm an animal lover. Okay, well that's it, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about subjective pronouns, be verbs, and how to use them with the word not. Okay, so let's look at the board to help us out. Now the first sentence says, "I'm not a student." Not means it's not true. No. So remember, "I'm a student" means yes, I'm a student. I go to school and I learn. "I'm not a student" means no, I'm a teacher or no, I'm not a student. Okay. Now notice we first have the subjective pronoun and the be verb. Then we put not. Okay, not comes after, and then we have the noun. Okay.
Okay, I'm not a student. Okay, now also listen carefully. Not a sounds like one word. I'm not a student. Not a. I'm not a student. Okay, let's look at the next one. He's not a student. He's not a student. She's not a student. She's not a student. It's not a dog. Remember, it is used for place, thing, or animal. So it's not a dog. Okay, you're not a student. You're not a student. Okay, the next one is a little bit different. We have we are, we're. Now remember, we means more than one, many. Okay, so we say students. We put a s and we don't put an a in front. We're not students. We're not students. Okay, and there is the same thing. It means more than one. So. They're not students. They're not students. Okay, we're going to look at some more examples. I want you to listen carefully and repeat after the examples. Let's start with the first one. I'm not. I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy. I'm not a girl. I'm not a girl. He's not. He's not a man. He's not a man. He's not a boy. He's not a boy. She's not. She's not a woman. She's not a woman. She's not a girl. She's not a girl. It's not. It's not a chair. It's not a chair. It's not a cat. It's not a cat. You're not. You're not a singer. You're not a singer. You're not a friend. You're not a friend. We're not. We're not sisters. We're not sisters. We're not brothers. We're not brothers. They're not. They're not people. They're not people. They're not cars. They're not cars. So in this video, we learned how to use subjective pronouns with the be verb and how to use them with the word not. Okay. So I wrote some sentences about myself using what we learned. So remember, I'm not a. Okay. I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy. I'm not a student. I'm not a student. I'm not a Canadian. I'm not a Canadian. Okay, and the last one. I'm not a loser. I'm not a loser. Okay, so that was a little bit about me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make questions. Using subjective pronouns and be verbs. Okay, so let's take a look at the board. So this example sentence says, "I'm a student." Okay, remember, "I'm" is just a contraction for "I am." Okay, so "I'm a student." "I am a student." They mean the same thing. Now, when we want to make a question. We just have to make a simple change. It's very easy. All you have to do is put the be verb in the front. Okay. So, am I a student? Am I a student? 
the be verb comes in the front. Okay. I also want you to listen to my intonation. When I say it in a sentence, I'm a student. I'm a student. Okay. And then when I say it in a question, am I a student? Am I a student? Notice my intonation goes up for the question. Okay. Now there are two possible answers for this question. Am I a student? The answers you can say are yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. And no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. We're going to look at some more examples. Please make sure you repeat after each example. Let's look at the first one. Am I? Am I a girl? Yes, I am. Am I a boy? No, I'm not. Am I a singer? Yes, I am. Am I a friend? No, I'm not. Now we're going to talk about he is and she is and how to use them in questions. So let's look at the sentence on the board. He's a doctor or she's a doctor. Remember, he's and she's are contractions for he is and she is. The be verb there is is. So when we make a question, we have to move the be verb to the front. Okay, so we put is in the front. Is he a doctor? Is she a doctor? Okay, very easy. Just put the be verb in the front. Now I want you to listen to the intonation again. He's a doctor. Okay, the intonation is going down. Is he a doctor? In the question, again, the intonation goes up. Okay. Now, when you answer, there are several possible answers you can give. So, yes, he is. Or, yes, she is. Okay, that's easy. When you come to no, this is where it gets a little tricky, but you can do it. No, he isn't. Okay, isn't is a contraction for is not. Okay, no, he isn't isn't or no she isn't okay so you can use she isn't he isn't another answer you can give is no he's not or no she's not you already know this is a contraction for he is and she is so no he's not no she's not okay so these are both common and they're both okay to use. Okay. So remember, we can give two different answers for no. All right. Now we're going to look at some more examples. Please make sure you repeat after each example. Is he? Is she? Is he a man? Yes, he is. Is he a cowboy? No, he isn't. Is she a woman? Yes, she is. Is she a cowgirl? No, she's not. Now we're going to move on to it is, okay? And how to use that in a question. So let's look at the board. It's a dog, okay? We have the contraction it's. Remember, it's is a contraction for it is. The be verb is is. When we make a question, remember we have to put the be verb in the front. Is it a dog? Is it a dog? Okay, the intonation goes up for the question. Is it a dog? Okay, now there are several answers you can give. The first one is yes. It is. Yes, it is. Okay. When you say no, you can give two answers. No, it isn't. No, 
It isn't. Remember, isn't is a contraction for is not. Okay. We can also say no. It's not. No. It's not. It's is a contraction for it is. Okay. So again, remember we have these two answers for no, but they're both common and they're both okay to use when you say no. Okay. We're going to look at some more examples. Please make sure you follow and repeat after each one. Is it? Is it a book? Yes, it is. Is it a chair? No, it isn't. Is it a shoe? Yes, it is. Is it a car? No, it's not. Now we're going to move on to you are and put that in a question. Okay, on the board, the sentence says you're a boy. Remember. Your is a contraction for you are. The be verb is are, so we have to put that in the front of the question. Are you a boy? Are you a boy? Okay. When we answer, it's very simple. We can say yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay. We're going to look at some more examples. Please follow and repeat after each one. Are you? Are you a Korean? Yes, I am. Are you a clown? No, I'm not. Are you a nurse? Yes, I am. Are you a dancer? No, I'm not. Now let's talk about we are and how to use that in a question. Okay, so the sentence here says we're teachers. Okay, we're is a contraction for we are. So the be verb are goes in the front. Are we teachers? Are we teachers? Okay, when we answer, we can say several things. Yes. We are. Yes, we are. Or no, we aren't. Listen, aren't. No, we aren't. Aren't is a contraction for are not. Or we can say no, we are not. No, we are not. And you know that we're is a contraction for we are. Okay. We're gonna look at some more examples. Please repeat after each one. Are we? Are we boys? Yes, we are. Are we girls? No, we are not. Are we friends? Yes, we are. Are we pro gamers? No, we aren't. Now we're moving on to they are in a question. The sentence on the board says they're friends. Remember, there is a contraction for they are. The be verb are goes in the front of the question. Are they friends? Are they friends? Okay. Now when we answer, we can say yes, they are. Yes, they are. Or we can say no, they aren't. No, they aren't. Aren't is a contraction for are not. The last thing we can say is no, they're not. No, they're not. There is a contraction for they are. These two answers for no are both correct, and they're both common. So you can say either one. Okay, we're going to look at some more examples now. Please repeat after each example. Are they? Are they tourists? Yes, they are. Are they dogs? No, they aren't. Are they computers? Yes, they are. Are they birds? No, 
they're not. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned how to change a subjective pronoun and a be verb into a question. Remember, when you're making a question, you have to put the be verb in the beginning. Okay? All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so this is a review video. We learned about subjective pronouns and be verbs. We also learned how to use them in a negative sentence and in a question. So let's look at the board for review. I am a teacher. Remember, am is the be verb. I am a teacher. Okay, we also learned contractions. I'm. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Okay, this is a negative sentence. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. Remember, not goes after the be verb. Okay, and here's a question. Am I a teacher? Am I a teacher? Remember, the be verb comes in the front for a question. Okay, we're going to listen to some more examples. I want you to repeat after each one. Okay, let's look at some examples. He is a king. He is a king. He's a king. He's a king. He's not a king. He's not a king. Is he a king? Is he a king? Next, she is a queen. She is a queen. She's a queen. She's a queen. She's not a queen. She's not a queen. Is she a queen? Is she a queen? Next, it is a monkey. It is a monkey. It's a monkey. It's a monkey. It's not a monkey. It's not a monkey. Is it a monkey? Is it a monkey? Next, you are a cook. You are a cook. You're a cook. You're a cook. You're not a cook. You're not a cook. Are you a cook? Are you a cook? Next, we are friends. We are friends. We're friends. We're friends. We're not friends. We're not friends. Are we friends? Are we friends? And last, they are monkeys. They are monkeys. They're monkeys. They're monkeys. They're not monkeys. They're not monkeys. Are they monkeys? Are they monkeys? So that was our review of subjective pronouns, be verbs, how to use them with not, and how to use them in questions. I really hope that you repeated each example that I gave because pronunciation is very important. Now, if you didn't, you should go back and watch it again and repeat. Okay, well, that's all and thank you. Bye. This is a checkup for subjective pronouns and be verbs. Let's take a look at the board. The first sentence hmm, are bags. Now, bags are things. So we can't say he or she or, you know, any of those. We have to use it or they. Now, we have are bags with an S. So that means more than one. We have to use they. They are bags. Okay, the next sentence we have an animal is a dog. Okay, but just one, right? A dog. So this time we use it. It is a dog. Now let's look at these two. The girl is an artist. We have the girl. What is the subjective pronoun for one girl? She. 
She is an artist. These two sentences have the same meaning. They're the same. Okay, and on the bottom we have a question. When we ask a question, we have to put the be verb first. Are、hmm, pandas? Are pandas with an s? That means more than one. So we say they. Are they pandas? Yes. Are again plural. So we just use the same they. Yes, they are. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Now we're going to focus on negatives and questions. Okay, the first sentence says, "I'm a student." Okay, I am. I'm a student. Okay, what if I'm a teacher? Okay, it's not true. I need not. Right? Remember, not goes after the be verb. I am. Am. Not. And then the noun, a student. I'm not a student. Okay, they are teachers. Okay, and now we have some other people, and that's not true. They are not teachers. Okay, again after the be verb are and before the noun teachers. They are not teachers. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question, and you have to answer. Are you a student? Are you a student? Well, you're taking my class. You're learning English, so yes, I am. Okay, you should say yes, I am. But how about this one? Are you a monkey? Are you a monkey? Of course, the answer is no. I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, let's move on to the last part. Now, for this last part, we're going to look at some sentences, but there's something wrong in all of these sentences, so you have to find the mistakes. The first sentence says, "I'm student." Okay, look, student. There's no s. That means just one. Just one. So remember, if there's just one, we have to put a. I'm a student. Let's look at the next one. They are student. Okay. This one says they are. This means there's more than one. More than one student. So what do we have to do? We have to say they are. Students. We have to put an S to show there's more than one student. She aren't a baby. She. That's one person, one girl or woman. A baby. That's one person. But we put aren't. Now that's wrong. We have to say isn't. She isn't a baby. You isn't a cat. Now, for the subjective pronoun you, we have to have the be verb are. So, not you isn't a cat, but you aren't a cat. You aren't a cat. Okay. Are it a cat? Okay. A cat. That's one animal. So, do we need are? No. We need the be verb is. Is it a cat? Is it a cat? Okay. So that was the checkup for subjective pronouns and be verbs. I hope you guys understood, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi everybody! In this video, we're going to learn how to make questions using what and be verbs. Okay. Now, when we have one thing, we have to use the be verb is. What is it? What is it?
It is a watch. It is a watch. It's one thing, so I have to say a a watch. I can also use the contraction for it is its. Okay, now listen. It's a. It's a. It's a watch. It's a watch. What is it? What is it? It's a marker. It's a marker. Okay. Now there are two highlighters. Okay, two. We use R. What are they? What are they? They are highlighters. They are highlighters. We have more than one, so we have to say R, and we have to put an S at the end. Again, we can use a contraction for they are there. They're highlighters. They're highlighters. What are they? What are they? Their markers. Their markers. Okay, we're going to look at some examples, and I'm going to ask some questions. Please try to answer them. Listen carefully and answer with "it's a" or "there." Let's look at the first one. What is it? What is it? It's a key. It's a key. What are they? What are they? They're keys. They're keys. What is it? What is it? It's a chair. It's a chair. What are they? What are they? Their chairs. Their chairs. What is it? What is it? It's a cat. It's a cat. What are they? What are they? They're cats. They're cats. What is it? What is it? It's a house. It's a house. What are they? What are they? Their houses, their houses. Now let's focus on pronunciation and saying these fast. Okay, English speakers speak very quickly, so you have to practice as well. Okay, what is it? Okay, let's try it faster three times. What is it? What is it? What is it? It sounds like one word. Okay, and the answer also is very fast. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pencil, it's a chair, it's a marker. Okay, when we have more than one, we say, "What are they?" Let's do it fast three times. What are they? What are they? What are they? Okay, and when you answer, "They're," they're pencils. Their chairs, their markers. Okay, so this video was what and be verbs. I hope you understood, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, everybody, and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about this and that. Now, this and that are used to talk about nouns that are close to us, near, or far away. Okay, so let's look at the board. This is a flower. Okay, we use this to talk about one noun, 
a flower that is close. Okay, this is a flower. It's not far. It's close. That is a flower. Okay, we use that to talk about one noun that's far away. So that that is a flower. Okay. For another example, this is a marker. It's close to me, but that that is a marker. It's far away. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. So we know this is a flower. Okay, and that is a flower. That. Now, is this a flower? What is it? It's a chair. So we have to use the negative. This isn't a flower. It's close by, but it isn't a flower. Isn't is a contraction for is not. Okay. This isn't a flower. This is a chair. That isn't a flower. It's far away, so we say that. Again, we have isn't a flower. That's a chair. And let's take another example. This isn't a pencil. This is a marker. And that isn't a pencil. That is a marker. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Now we're going to learn how to use this and that in a question. Okay, so we know this is a flower. When we make a question, we have to switch. We put the be verb first, so it becomes: Is this a flower? Okay, it's close by, so the answer is yes. It is. Okay, is that a flower? It's far away. The answer is yes. It is. Okay, but how about this? This isn't a flower. So, is this a flower? The answer is no. It isn't. Is that a flower? No. It isn't. Okay. Here, is this a marker? Yes. It is. Is that a marker? Yes, it is. Is this a pencil? No, it isn't. Is that a pencil? No, it isn't. Okay, so we learned this and that in this video. I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi everybody, and welcome to this video. We're going to talk about how to use these and those. Okay,、uh, just like we learned with this and that, we use these and those to talk about nouns that are close to us or far from us. Okay, so let's take a look at the board. Now we know if there's just one. And it's close to us. We say this is a flower. Okay, but there's more than one. It's plural, so we have to say these. These are flowers. Again, more than one. Now I changed the be verb to are, and I added an s at the end of flower. So these are flowers. Okay, now there's a there's one that's far away. We say that is a flower, but again, there's more than one. There are two flowers. So in that case, we use those are flowers. Those are flowers. They're far away. So those are flowers. Let's look at these. This is a marker. These are markers. That is a marker. 
Those are markers. Okay, let's move on to the next part. So we know these are flowers. They're close by. And for the flowers that are far away, we say those are flowers. Okay, but over here we have chairs. So we have to use the negative. Okay, we use the contraction aren't, which is short for are not. These aren't flowers. These aren't flowers. Okay, and for the chairs that are far away, we say those aren't flowers. Those aren't flowers. Okay, and let's try with the markers. These aren't pens. These aren't pens. Okay, and far away, those aren't pens. Those aren't pens. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Now we're going to make some questions. We know these are flowers. When you want to make a question, you have to change these are and put the be verb first. So it becomes, are these flowers? Are these flowers? And the answer is, yes, they are. Okay, now the flowers are far away. So we say, are those flowers? Are those flowers? And again, the answer is, Yes, they are. Okay, now here we have chairs. Are these flowers? The answer is no, they aren't. Okay, and now they're far away. Are those flowers? And again, the answer is no, they aren't. How about these? Are these markers? Yes, they are. Are those markers? Yes, they are. Hmm. Are these pens? No, they aren't. Are those pens? No, they aren't. Okay, so in this video, we learned how to use these and those. I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Let's do some practice with this, that, these, and those. First, I have this pen. I have to say, this is a pen. This is a pen. Okay? Over there, that is a pen. That is a pen. Now, I have two pens. These are pens. These are pens. Okay, I'm going to move them far away. Those are pens. Those are pens. Okay, let's move on to questions. I have one pen. Is this a pen? Yes, it is. Is this a cookie? No, it isn't. Is that a pen? Yes, it is. Is that a cookie? No, it isn't. Okay, two pens. Are these pens? Yes, they are. Are these cookies? No, they aren't. Now they're over here. Are those pens? Yes, they are. Are those cookies? No, they aren't. Okay, so that was our practice for this, that, these, and those. I hope you guys understood, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hi, everybody! In this video, we're going to learn about possessive adjectives. We use possessive adjectives to show that something belongs to me or something belongs to someone else. I own something 
or someone owns something. Okay, so let's take a look at the board. Now, last time we learned about subjective pronouns, and here they are: I, he, she, it, you, we, they. And here are the possessive adjectives. Okay, my. We use my to show that something belongs to me. Okay. His. This means that something belongs to one man or one boy. Her. We use that to show something belongs to one woman or one girl. Its. We use its to show that something belongs to an animal. We use your to show that something belongs to you. Okay. Our. Our means that something belongs to me and you, or me and somebody else. Okay, or me and other people. Okay. And last, we use there to show that something belongs to many people. Okay, not me, but many people. Okay. Now I want you to. Pay attention to three special words: its, your, and their. Now, I want you to notice these words sound like other words, so you have to be careful not to get them confused. And I'm going to explain. Its sounds like the contraction for it is. Its. Okay, so don't get that confused. Your sounds like the contraction. For you are your okay. So make sure you use this one to show possession. Okay. And the last word there, it actually sounds like two other words.、Uh, the contraction for they are there, or the word t h e r e, the other word there. Okay. So please don't get those confused. Now I know all of this sounds very hard. But if you practice with me, I'm sure you'll understand. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's practice together. Now here I have a marker. It belongs to me. So I have to say, this is my marker. This isn't your marker. This is my marker. Okay, let's look at this boy. He has a hat. So I have to say, this is his hat. This is his hat. This isn't my hat. This isn't your hat. Okay. And this girl has a dress. So this is her dress. This is her dress. This isn't my dress. This isn't your dress. Okay. In this picture, there's an animal, a dog. And it has a ball. I have to say, this is its ball. This is its ball. This isn't my ball, and this isn't your ball. Now, in this picture, we have two people. Okay, and they both own this house. So this is their house. This is their house. Okay. Now, a little bit farther away, we have three books. Okay, and this boy and girl have the books here. So we have to say those. And because we have more than one, we have to use are. Okay, those are their books. Those are their books. Those aren't. My books. Those aren't your books. Okay. And the last one. Here's the country Korea. Okay. We all live here, so we say this is our country. This is our country. Okay. Let's move on to the next part for some more practice. Here are some practice sentences. We're going to put possessive adjectives on these lines. Okay, so let's try together. I put candy in 
mouth. Okay, this is a mouth. I put candy in. What should we put? My mouth. Okay. Next, John. John is one man or boy. John lost hmm, bag. Okay. For one man or boy, we say his. John lost his bag. Okay. The parents. That's more than one person. That's two people. So the parents love hmm, baby. We have to put there. The parents love their baby. Okay. And here, the dog. Okay. The dog is an animal. So the dog eats hmm, food. What do we put? We have to say it's. The dog eats its food. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Let's continue. Hmm, names are Paul and Sam. Okay, we have two people, Paul and Sam, and the plural names. So we have to say their. Their names are Paul and Sam. Okay. Can I use hmm, phone? Okay, I'm asking you. So I have to say, can I use your phone? Okay. And the next one, hmm, makeup looks good. Whose makeup? Well, usually girls or women wear makeup. So I'm going to say, her makeup looks good. Okay, and mm, videos are helpful to you. Okay, these are the videos that we make, right? We teach English in these videos. So the answer is our. Our videos are helpful to you, or we sure hope they are. Okay, so in this video, we learned how to use possessive adjectives. Don't forget, you have to put a noun after each one. I hope you understand and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Hi everybody and welcome. In this video, we're going to learn about possessive pronouns. Okay, we use possessive pronouns to show that something belongs to us or something uh, is owned by us, okay, or someone else. So let's take a look at the board. Now, last time we learned about subjective pronouns, and here they are, okay? And in another video, we talked about possessive adjectives, and here they are, okay? And over here are the possessive pronouns that we're going to talk about in this video. Now, Possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns are the same. They show possession, which means I own something, something belongs to me, or to someone else. Okay, the only difference is that they're used a little differently. For possessive adjectives, you have to put a noun after, okay, my dog. Okay, but for possessive pronouns, you don't have to put a noun after it. Okay, you can just say mine. Okay, so let's go through each one. My, mine. Okay, and this is the same. His, his. Okay, for her, we say hers. We add an S, hers. It's, it's. Again, it's the same. Your, yours. We have to put an S, yours, our, ours, and their, theirs. Okay, again, I know that this can be really confusing, but let's practice some more, okay? And let's move on to the next part. Let's practice together. Now, this is my marker. But with possessive pronouns, you do not have to put a noun after, okay? So I can say, this is mine. This isn't yours. 
This is mine. Okay, let's look at the board. This boy has a hat. So we say, this is his. This isn't mine. This isn't yours. This is his. The girl has a dress. This is hers. This isn't mine. This isn't yours. This is hers. Okay, now with it's, it's kind of different. Okay, you still have to put a noun. So you can't say this is it's. You have to say this is it's ball. Again, this is its ball. This isn't mine. This isn't yours. This is its ball. Okay, now we have two people who have a house. This is theirs. This isn't mine. This isn't yours. This is theirs. Okay, now over here, we have some books and we're gonna say that they belong to these two people. Okay. So we're going to use the plural be verb are. Okay. These are theirs. These aren't mine. These aren't yours. These are theirs. Okay. And last we have a picture of Korea. Okay. This is ours. This is ours. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's look at these examples. We have to put in some possessive pronouns. Okay, that lipstick is mm. Okay, well, we have the noun lipstick and usually a girl or woman wears lipstick. So we're going to use the possessive pronoun hers. Okay, that lipstick is hers. Okay, the next sentence. That sports car is, hmm, okay. Again, usually a man will drive a sports car. So we can say, that sports car is his. Okay, now let's look at these last two. This money is mine, not yours. This money is mine. It belongs to me. It doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. Okay, and the last one, Tokdo is ours. It's Korea's, right? Not theirs, not Japan's. Okay, it belongs to us. So we say it's ours. Okay, so in this video, we learned possessive pronouns. I hope you understand, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is a checkup for this, that, these, those, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Okay, now here I want you to focus on this, that, these, and those. Okay, so here's the first example. We have a dog, one dog. So we have to use this or that. Okay, if it's close, I say, this is a dog. If it's far away, I say, that is a dog. So I'm going to write this. Okay. The next one says, are balloons. Are balloons with an S. There's more than one. So can we use this or that? No. We have to use these or those. So if it's close, I say, these are balloons. If they're far, those are balloons. Okay, so let's write those. Those are balloons. Okay, now when we ask the question, are these pens? We have more than one. These Pens with an S. Okay. I can put two answers here. No, mm, aren't. I can say no, these aren't. Or I can say no, they, more than one, 
they aren't. Okay, the next one. These eyes. We need a B verb. Okay, there's more than one, right? There are two eyes. So these are eyes. Okay, and here is a nose. One. A nose, and it's close. So I have to say this. This is a nose. Okay, let's move on to the next part. We're going to do some more checkup. Now here, I want you to focus on possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Let's look at the first example. These are my pen. Okay, we have these are. This means we need more than one, right? More than one pen. So we have to put s. These are my pens. Okay, let's look at these two together. Those aren't her children. Okay, so we can also say those aren't. What do we put? Her children. We can also say those aren't hers. Okay, we don't need a noun here. We do need a noun over here, though. Okay, then is it yours? Is it yours? Yes, it's. There's no noun. We have to say mine. Is it yours? Yes, it's mine. Okay, and the last two, mm, these his shoes. We need a be verb here. These his shoes. We have these, and we have shoes with an s. So we need the plural be verb. Are are these his shoes? Okay, and the answer no. They plural. Are we have no, no they aren't. Okay, are not aren't. Okay, let's move on to the next part. For this last part, we're going to look at these sentences, but they're all wrong. They all have mistakes, so you have to find the mistakes for me. Okay, so the first one says that are chairs. Hmm. We know that's wrong. That is used for singular nouns. One, but it says are, and it says chairs with an s. So we have to change this word. We can say these are chairs or those are chairs. Okay, this book is my. Hmm. We have the possessive pronoun my, but remember you have to have a noun after. But there's no noun, so we can change this to the possessive adjective mine. Okay, you don't need a noun if you say mine. Okay, that is he house. Hmm. We want to show. That this house belongs to this man or boy. That is he house. But this word he does not show possession. Okay, so we say this is his house. His, and then the noun house. Similarly, for the next one, she name is Jenny. We want to show that this name belongs to Jenny, so we say her. Her name is Jenny. Okay, and the last one is also similar. It's ours house. Now, if we don't have house, it's ours. We can say that, but since we have a noun. We use the possessive 
pronoun. It's our house. Okay, that was the checkup for possessive pronouns, possessive adjectives, this, that, these, and those. I hope you understood, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the articles a, an, and the. Now, this can be very confusing, so please make sure you pay careful attention. We use articles in front of nouns. Okay, so remember that, and let's look at the board. First, we use a or an when we're talking about any one thing. For example, let's say I say a banana is delicious. Okay, that means all bananas. Any banana is delicious. A banana is delicious. Okay, now let's jump over here. If I'm talking about a specific banana, maybe I have a banana in my hand. It's specific, not any banana. This one. I have to use the. The banana is old. Okay, this one. I can't say a banana is old. Then that means all bananas are old. And that's not true. Just this one. So I say the banana is old. Okay. Let's move over here. We also use a or an when we're talking about something for the first time. So I have another example here. I watched a movie. Okay. I'm talking about this movie for the first time. So I have to use a movie. But if I want to talk about this movie again for the second time or the third time or fourth, fifth, it doesn't matter. I have to use the. The movie was fun. I'm talking about this one, the specific. The movie was fun. I can't say a movie was fun. That means all movies are fun. That's not true. The movie was fun. Okay, and I also use the when I'm talking about a noun where there's only one and only. Okay, for example, there's only one sun. Okay, when I look at the sky, there's only one sun. So I say the sun. The sun is hot. I cannot say a sun. That's wrong. When there's one and only, we say the sun. Okay, let's look at some more examples. The first example says a lion is dangerous. I have to use a because I'm talking about any one lion. Any lion is dangerous. All lions are dangerous, so I use a. The next sentence says it's a dog. I'm talking about this dog for the first time, so I use a. Now I'm talking about this dog for the second time, so I say the dog is cute. Okay, here's a similar example. It's an ant. Well, I used an because we have ant, which starts with a vowel, and I'm talking about this ant. For the first time, it's an ant. Now I'm talking about this ant again. The ant is small. The ant, this one, is small. Okay, and the last one, it's the moon. I have to say the moon because there's only one moon. I cannot say a moon. It's the moon. The moon, only one, is round. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Okay, we have some more examples, but this time I want you to think about whether we should put a, an, or the. Okay, so I see desk and chair. We don't know which desk and chair. And it's the first time 
I'm talking about them. So we have to put a. I see a desk and a chair. The next one. I see octopus. Okay, this is the same. It's the first time I'm talking about this octopus. So do I put a or an? Well, here we have the vowel o, so we have to put an octopus. I see an octopus. Okay, the next one. It's pen. Okay, it's the same. It's the first time. So I say a pen. Now I'm talking about the pen for the second time. So I say the pen is red. Okay, I'm talking about this one. So I say the. Okay, similarly, she is girl. What do I say? A girl. We're talking about her for the first time. Okay, and now we're talking about this girl again for the second time. So I have to say, the girl is pretty. And the last example, I can see sky. Now we only have one sky, right? So if there's only one and only, we have to put the article the. I can see the sky. Okay, so in this video we talked about the articles a, an, and the. I hope you understand, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the prepositions in, on, and under. Now we use prepositions to show where something is. So let's take a look at the board. Okay. Now、uh, in this picture we have a cat. Okay, and we're talking about this specific cat. So we have to say the cat. Okay, is in the box. Okay, the preposition is in. He's in the box. In the box. Okay, and the next one. The cat is on the preposition on the chair. He's on the chair. Okay, and the next one. The cat is under, under the table, under the table. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now we have plural nouns. The apples are okay in the box. Again, the apples are in the box. Okay. Next, the apples are on the chair. And last, the apples are under, under the table. Okay. Let's look at some more examples. Let's look at some pictures to help us understand the prepositions in, on, and under. I'm going to ask you some questions. I want you to think about which one you should use. Okay, where is the dog? Where is the dog? The dog is in the doghouse. You should use the preposition in. The dog is in the doghouse. Where is the man? Where is the man? The man is under the umbrella. The man is under the umbrella. And last, where are the girls? Where are the girls? The girls are on the bridge. The girls are on. The bridge. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Now we're going to practice asking and answering questions using in, on, and under. First, let's take a look at this picture. Here we have a rabbit, a chair, 
and one, two, three snakes. Okay, so I will ask a question using in, on, or under. I want you to think: Is the answer yes, it is, or no, it isn't? Okay, let's start with the rabbit. Is the rabbit under the chair? No, it isn't. Is the rabbit in the chair? No, it isn't. Is the rabbit on the chair? On the chair? Yes, it is. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the snakes. Now. There are more than one, right? So it's plural. So we say are the snakes with an s. Okay. So again, think: Is the answer yes, they are, or no, they aren't? Are the snakes in the chair? No, they aren't. Are the snakes on the chair? No, they aren't. Are the snakes under the chair? Yes, they are. Okay, how did you do? I hope you guys understand how to use the prepositions in, on, and under after watching this video. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everybody! In this video, we're going to talk about adjectives. Now we use adjectives to describe nouns or things. Okay, we can describe its size, its color, its shape, or other things like that. Okay, so let's take a look at the board. The first noun we're going to use is marker. It's a marker. Now I want to use an adjective. To describe the color, I'm going to say it's a black marker. Black is the adjective. Now notice I have to put the adjective after the article a, but before the noun marker. It's a black marker. Now I can use another adjective to describe its size. It's a long marker. Okay, let's try the next one. Here we have a bird, so it's a bird. Okay, I want to use another adjective to describe the color, so I'm going to say it's a blue bird. Again, you have to put the adjective after the article before the noun. I can also describe its size. It's a small bird. Small. Is another adjective. Now,、uh, at the last part, we have some apples. Three apples. Okay. Remember, when we have more than one noun, it's called a plural noun. So we have to say their apples with an s. Their apples. I want to use the adjective red to describe the color of these apples. So I'm going to say their red. Apples. Okay, here there's no article. There's no a.、Uh, that's because there's more than one. Their red apples. So I just have to put the adjective before the noun that it's describing. Their red apples. Okay, let's move on to some more examples. Okay. Now we're going to practice asking and answering questions using adjectives. Okay, so we have a man here. I want to ask: Is he a small man? Okay, we have the adjective small. Notice, even in a question, we have to put the adjective after the article and before the noun. Is he a small man? Well. Let's take a look at this picture. The answer is no. He's a man. 
We need another adjective. He's not a small man, so we have to say no. He's a big man. Okay, we're gonna use the adjective big. Okay, let's look at the next one. Is it a hmm, table? The answer is yes. It is. We need an adjective to describe color, shape, or size, or something. Well, we can't really describe the color, so I think we should try the shape. Okay. Well, is it a round table? And the answer is yes. It is. Okay. And last, we have two dresses. Okay, so that means the noun is plural. In that case, for the question, we begin with R. Are they red dresses? Okay, the adjective is red. But are they red dresses? No, they're blue dresses. Okay, no, they're blue dresses. Okay. So in this video, we learned about adjectives. I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is a checkup video for articles, prepositions, and adjectives. I've written some sentences on the board. Let's try to finish them together. Okay, the first sentence says it's umbrella. Okay, we have the noun. We need an article and adjective to describe the umbrella. Okay, so here it is. Let's describe the color. Okay, we would say black. Remember, the adjective comes before the noun. Now we need an article. And the correct article is a. It's a black umbrella. Okay. Next, it's. We have three blanks. Here we have the noun ant. So we're going to put that at the end. Okay. Let's use the adjective ugly. Okay. Remember again, the adjective comes before the noun. Ugly ant. It's ugly ant. We need an article. Should we use a or an? Well, ugly starts with the vowel u, so we have to say an. It's an ugly ant. Next, it's. Okay, we have the noun car, so we put that at the end. Again, let's use an adjective that describes the color. Let's use blue. Hey, what article should we use? We have to say a.、Uh, it's a blue car. Okay, and last, I, nice girl. That's me. We have the noun girl and the adjective nice. So we need the article. We're going to say a.、Uh. Now we're missing one more thing. We need the be verb am. I am a nice girl. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's continue with the checkup. Here's a picture. Okay, look at it carefully. What is it? What is it? It's banana. We need an article here, and it's the first time I'm talking about this, so we're going to say ah,、uh, it's a banana. Where is banana? Now you know I'm talking about this one. It's specific, so I'm going to use the article the. Where is the banana? Okay, and now let's think about the preposition. It's the chair. We need to use the preposition on. It's on the chair. Okay, let's move on. What are they? Okay, they're 
oranges. Okay, we have more than one. That's why we said they are there and oranges with an s. Okay, can we use the? No, you don't know what oranges I'm talking about because it's the first time I said anything about them. Then can I use a or an? No. A or an is used for any one thing. So here we do not need any article. They're oranges. What are they? They're oranges. Okay. Where? Oranges. Okay. Now, again, you know I'm talking about these specific oranges. So we use the. Where? The oranges. Okay. Remember, when you ask a question with plural, you need are. Where are the oranges? Okay. Now let's think about the preposition. There, the chair. Okay. The preposition we need is under. Okay. They're not on. They're under the chair. Okay, let's move on to the last part. Okay, let's continue with the checkup. Now, we have two short stories here. You have to help me find the mistakes. The first sentence says, it's snake. Well, we're missing an article, okay? And that article is a. Uh, it's a snake, okay? It's blue a snake. Can you find the mistake? Okay, remember the adjective blue has to go between the article and the noun. So we have to move the article to the front. It's a blue snake. That is the correct answer. It's a blue snake. Okay, the next one. The snake under the box. It sounds right, the snake under the box, but we forgot the be verb. The snake is under the box. Okay, let's move on to the next story. It's a octopus. Okay, we have an article, but octopus starts with the vowel O. So we have to use an. It's an octopus. An octopus is big. Hmm. This one's a little bit hard, but remember, we're talking about the same octopus. So now this octopus is specific. So we have to change the article an to the. The octopus is big the octopus from the first sentence. Last, the octopus are under the chair. What's the mistake? The octopus, there's only one. So we don't use are, we have to say is. The octopus is under the chair. Okay, so that was our checkup for articles, prepositions, and adjectives. I hope you guys understand better, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to learn have and has. Now, we use have or has to show possession, to show something belongs to you. Okay. So let's take a look at the board. Okay, when you're talking about you or me, we say I have. Okay, if something belongs to a boy or man, we say he has. For a girl or a woman, she has. For an animal or thing, it has. For you. You have. For us, me and some other people, we say we have. Okay, and some other people, 
they have. Okay, this is very easy. You just have to remember it. Okay, so let's practice with these pictures. Here we have a rabbit and a carrot. So which one do we have to use? Well, a rabbit is an animal, so we have to use it. It has a carrot. Again, it has a carrot. Now, in this picture, we have two ants. Okay, so for two things, we have to use they. Okay, so here are two ants and an apple. So we are going to say they have an apple. They have an apple. Okay, let's move on to some more practice. Let's do some practice together. You have to think about if we should use have or has in the blanks. Okay, so let's look at the first one. The girl blank long hair. Okay, now the girl. What can we use instead of the girl? We can say she. She, then what do we say? Has. She has long hair. Or the girl has long hair. It's the same. Okay, the next one. The boys. Now, there's a S here. That means there's more than one boy. When we have more than one thing, what do we use? They. Okay, they, do we say have or has? We have to say have. They have caps or the boys have caps. Okay, the next one's easier. I. When we have I, we say have. I have a friend. Okay, the next one is also easy. He, he, blink, an umbrella. What do we have to use? Has, he has an umbrella. Okay, the next one says, the dog, blink, a bone. The dog, what do we use for animals? It, it has a bone or the dog has a bone. And last, my mother and I blink a car. Okay, this one's tricky. My mother and I. We have to say we. We have a car. My mother and I have a car. Okay. So I hope you understand how to use have and has, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to learn negatives with have and has. Now, this is also pretty easy. You just have to remember everything that I wrote. Okay. So let's take a look at the board. Okay, first, for I, we use I don't have. Remember, don't is a contraction for do not. I don't have. For he, she, and it, we use doesn't have. Doesn't is a contraction for does not. He doesn't have. She doesn't have, it doesn't have. Now on the bottom, for you, we, they, it's the same as I. We use don't have. You don't have, we don't have, and they don't have. So let's look at these pictures. Remember, we have a rabbit and a carrot. So we said it has a carrot. Okay, but we're doing negatives. So we have to say, it doesn't have a cake. It doesn't have a cake. Okay, now here we have the ants 
and an apple. So we said they have an apple. Okay, but for this banana here, we have to say they don't have a banana. They don't have a banana. Okay, let's move on to some more practice. Now let's try this practice with the negatives doesn't have and don't have together. Now this is a little easy because we know that the second word is have. All you have to think is should we use doesn't or don't, okay? So I'm just going to put have here first. Okay, she blank have short hair. Should we use don't or doesn't? If you remember, for she, we use doesn't. She doesn't have short hair. Okay, and again, I'm going to put have first. This is easy. He and she, we both use doesn't. He doesn't have an umbrella. Okay, how about for I? I doesn't have or I don't have? The correct answer is don't. I don't have a wife. People. Remember, if we have more than one person, animal, or thing, we have to think of they. For they, do we use don't or doesn't? Do you remember? The correct answer is don't. People don't have manners. Okay, next. We. We blank have money. Should we put doesn't or don't? The correct answer is don't. We don't have money. Okay, and the last one, a snake. A snake is an animal. What do we use for an animal? It. It. What should we put here? It doesn't have legs. Okay, so that was our practice for the negatives don't have and doesn't have. I hope you understand and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi everybody! In this video, we're going to learn how to ask questions using have. Okay, let's look at the board. When we are talking about he, she, or it, the question always begins with does. After the pronoun, we have have. So we say, does he have? Does she have? Does it have? Now let's practice with this question and let's look at the two answers. Okay, does he have a friend? If the answer is yes, we say yes. In the blank, we match. This has to be the same. Yes, he does. If the answer is no, no, he doesn't. Does she have a friend? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it have a friend? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, so remember does, have. Now, when we use you, we, they, we use do in the front and have after. Do you have a friend? Do we have a friend? Do they have a friend? Okay, and again we have two answers. We finish with do or don't. So, do you have a friend? Yes, I do, right? The question is asking you. So you say, I do, or no, I don't. Do we have a friend? Yes, we do, or no, we don't. And last, do they have a friend? Yes, they do. No, they don't. 
Okay, let's move on to some more practice. Let's try this practice together. I know it looks hard, but I'm going to help you. Okay, so let's look at the first practice. It's a question. Okay, so remember, when we ask a question, we begin with do or does. Okay, we have she. Well, remember, for all questions, we use have. In the front, should we use does or do? The answer is does. Does she have a dress? When we answer yes, what do we put here? Remember, we put the pronoun she. And the answer does. Yes, she does. The next one, we have they. Okay, have is again the same. Have a bicycle. Okay, what goes in the front? For they, we use do. Do they have a bicycle? This time, the answer is negative. No, they... What do we put here? It doesn't make sense to say do, right? No, they do. That's wrong. It's a negative. We have to say no, they don't. No, they do not. Okay, and again, we have have over here. It. Which one, do or does? The answer is does. Does it have a ball? Again, the answer is negative. No, it does not. Or the contraction, no, it doesn't. Okay, so that was our practice for asking questions with have. I hope you understand and I'll see you in the next video. This is a checkup video for have, has, don't have, doesn't have, and questions with have. Let's take a look at the board. Here we have a picture of a dog and a ball. And this ball belongs to this dog. So let's make a sentence about this picture. Okay, the dog is an animal. So we have to use it. Okay, with it, do we use have or has? We have to use has. It has a ball. Now, there's a hat, but it says no. It's negative. So, it. Remember, for negatives, we always use have. But what goes in the front? Doesn't or don't. For it, we say doesn't. It doesn't have a hat. Next, we have a question. We use have. Remember, we have to put the pronoun over here, the same one. And we put does or do in the front. What do you think? We have to say does. Does it have a ball? Well, does it have a ball? Yes, it does. Let's move on to the next part. Here we have two people, so we're going to say they, and a car that belongs to them. For they, we have to say have. They have a car. Here, there's a bus, but again it says no, negative. They, blink, blink, a bus. Again, for negative, we say have. Doesn't have or don't have? Which one is it? For don't, uh, for they, we say they don't have a bus. Okay, and we have a question. Well, again, we have to put the same pronoun. How about in the front? Do or does? For they, we put do. Do they have a bus? Do they have a bus? No, they don't. Okay, let's move on to some more practice. 
Now for this practice, we have to find the mistakes in these sentences. What's wrong with them? Okay, so let's look at the first one. They has two watches. Hmm. Remember, for they, we have to use have, not has. They have two watches. The next one is a question. Does they have three watches? Okay, remember, when we start a question, we have to use do or does. Here we have does, but remember, for they, we begin with do. Do they have three watches? And in the answer, no, we don't. What's wrong with this answer? Remember, the pronoun has to match. It has to be the same. Do they have three watches? No, they don't. Let's look at these. She have a dress. Remember, for she, we use has. She has a dress. How about in the question? Do she have a hat? Remember, we begin with do or does. But for she, we should begin with does. Does she have a hat? And the answer, no, she do. Hmm. No means it's negative. So we need a negative here. Is it don't or doesn't? No, she doesn't is the correct answer. Okay, so that was our checkup. I hope you understand better and I'll see you in the next video.